Hey everyone, welcome to integration uh, method of substitution, also referred to as U substitution. This is Nicholas JMV, so I got a few examples for you. So, what is U substitution? Well, it happens, and you use this technique when you have a composite function. So, when your integrand, that is when your derivative, is a composite function. That's when we're going to use this rule. Um, you can do it by pattern recognition or change of variables. I do change of variables. I mean, pattern recognition, some of the textbooks refer to that, but most of the time you do what's called change of variables, okay? The three-part process for me is, is pretty simple. I got to pick an appropriate U. If you pick the wrong U, you won't be able to integrate. You got to find the U, okay, the derivative of your U value, and then you express your integrand in terms of U. It's all got to be in one variable. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at our first example. We're going to integrate the square root of 3x plus 5. So this is, this is what I mean when you have a, a, a derivative. So there's our f prime here. Look, our f prime, our integrand, is a composite function. So what I'm going to do is rewrite this. I'm going to have, I'm actually going to just write 3x plus 5. The square root is the same thing as a 1 half power dx. So notice how we're, we have x and we're integrating with respect to x. Here's where I got to pick a u. Now I'm not going to pick the square root. I'm actually going to pick the inside function, okay? And my u value is going to be 3x plus 5. Now I'm only going to do this once. I, I'm going to differentiate here and I'm going to end up solving for dx. So watch what I do. So I'm going to say du dx is equal to 3. Okay, pretty simple. If I wanted to cross multiply, I get 3dx equals du. But I want, I want dx. I want to solve for dx. So dx equals du over 3. Okay? I always solve for dx. You can do it different ways, but I always do this method, and it just depends on who your teacher is. Okay, so now watch what I go. I go back through and I, I substitute my 3x plus 5, that is my u value, to the 1 half. Notice how I can have dx. So you want your integrand in terms of one variable. I can't put dx here. I can't integrate with respect to x when our variable is u. So I know what dx is in terms of u. It is du over 3. So times du over 3. There's my other substitution. So I bring the 1 third out front. And then I have u to the 1 half times du. Okay? And now I can finally integrate. So this is just a power rule. I'm going to have 1 third times, and I'm going to add 1 to the u, so it's u to the 3 halves, divided by 3 halves, plus c. So it simplifies out a little bit, and I get 1 third, dividing by 3 halves is the same thing as multiplying by 2 thirds, and my u value, remember, is 3x plus 5. So I have 3x plus 5 to the 3 halves plus c, and let's simplify that out, so I get 2 ninths. Okay, times 3x plus 5 to the 3 halves power plus c. And that's our first u substitution example. Okay, so let's keep going. All right, so here's our second example we're going to be integrating. We have x times the quantity 4x squared plus 3, and that's going to be cubed. Now, one way I look at this, how to pick out what I'm going to use, I always look at the, here's a polynomial, here's a polynomial inside. This has a larger power, so I'm actually going to pick that for my u. So I'm going to have u equals 4x squared plus 3. Okay? That means when I integrate this, I have du equals 8x dx. Now remember I told you I solved for dx. It's always du over dx, and then I just multiply each side. So I, I skipped a step there. I know that dx now is du over 8x. Now this works out perfectly. Watch what happens. Let's rewrite the integrand. I have x times, it's not 4x squared plus 3, it's u. So you have u to the third power. Now look, x, u, we've got to have a, an integrand in terms of one variable. So look, we're going to say du over 8x. We're going to substitute what we know for dx, and look what happens. The x's cancel, they become 1, and that's what we need. So now we bring out the 1 eighth from here, and we have the integral of u cubed du. And now it's the power rule. We're going to take 1 8 times u to the fourth over 4 plus c. Okay, so that's 1 over 32. So it's over 32. Our u value is 4x squared plus 3. So 4x squared plus 3. There's the substitution to the fourth power plus 
C. And there's our second example, okay? Third example, we keep rolling through these. All right, so let's look. We have the integral of x over x squared plus 4 dx. Now, look what's going to happen here. I have x and x squared. I'm going to go with the polynomial that has the largest power. So I'm going to let u equal x squared plus 4, okay? And then I say du, take the derivative, is going to be 2x dx. So that means dx is equal to du over 2x. Now let's go back to the integrand. So we go back and we say x over u. Can't have dx. We know that dx is du over 2x. And what's going to happen here is, look, the x's are going to go away. And that's perfect because we want our integrand, remember, in one variable. So now we're going to have 1 half in the integral of 1 over u du. Now this one's a special case. What function gives us a derivative of 1 over u? It's natural log. It's going to be natural log of ln. Now, normally you need absolute value, but x squared plus 4 is always positive, so it's just ln of x squared plus 4 plus c, and there is our integral, our original function, okay? I think I have one more for you. Uh, yeah, the good old sine one, okay. Got to have a trig one. Okay, let's look. So what do we pick? Well, you have the integral sine squared of 3x times cosine of 3x. This is the same thing as doing this. So I'm actually going to let u equal sine of 3x. Okay? That means du is going to equal cosine of 3x times 3, right? Chain rule there. That's a tough one. dx. So that means dx is going to equal du over 3 cosine of 3x. All right. Notice how I take care of the u part first, then I go back. So watch. We go back. We know this is u squared times cosine of 3x. Two different variables. We have dx. We know dx in terms of u. That's perfect. So we substitute again, and we get 3 cosine 3x. And look what happens. We get rid of all that. Okay, it's gone. So bring out the 1 third. Integrating of u squared du. And look, now it's again a power rule, nice little power rule here. So u, 1 third u cubed over 3 plus c. Okay. That's going to equal 1 ninth. Our u value, remember, was sine of 3x. So sine 3x cubed plus c. You can rewrite this if you want as 1 ninth sine cubed of 3x plus c. Okay, everyone. So that's a few examples of how to use u substitution in the change of variables. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know and we'll see you next time.